Hi guys, so today we're going to set up a British Army style poncho, basher, tarp, whenever you want to describe it as. It's a pretty simple setup, it's cheap, it's light, it works. It's been used by the British Army in the UK across temperate climates, across nor Northern Europe and the wider world. This system works, it's easy, it's simple. So I've got two basher poles, probably set you back something like 20 quid. And then I've got the poncho or basher itself. Just got, just got it self-contained in a little bag here. Uh, mine isn't a genuine uh, British Army poncho. Uh, it's just like a replica one I bought online. Pretty much the same thing. Big rectangular sheet of material with these little brass eyelets uh, on six of the corners. And then apply, attached to that, I've just got some short paracord with some of these locking clips and then six pegs to go along with it. There's quite a few different ways you can set this um, tarp up, poncho up. Uh, I'm going to show you like, the apex way, pretty much a tried and tested. If you go to any uh, military training grounds across the UK, uh, Aldershot, Purbright, Catterick, uh, Woodbury Common, you'll see this pretty much everywhere. Like the basic recruit way of doing it, like the apex tent. I'll show you that way. That's pretty much the way I would set it up if I'm using this. You can get one man under this or you can get two man under this. Uh, two man's, it's a little bit, it's a little bit snuggly, but it's fine. Um, and then I'll show you some other ways you can set it up as well but the apex is the way that I'm pretty much using it so it's a really simple system it's overlooked I think by a lot of people in you know the, the wild camping survival kind of bushcraft world because it's just it's just so light it's so simple it's cheap this weighs almost nothing this probably weighs less than half a kilogram it's probably like 300 400 grams something like that it's nothing it's simple it's cheap it works let's get into setting it up and I'll show you how I do it So I've just pitched the poncho in a different orientation. So if you've got a wall, or in this case, a fence, attached at the top onto the fence, uh, just pegged in at the bottom, and just pretty good, pretty good rain protection. Um, you're pretty much going to get no rain entering the top down to the bottom. Open at the sides, so driving rain could come in through the sides. So maybe think about wind direction when you're putting it up. But this is ideal. You could easily sleep under that, or perfect as well for storing, you know, backpacks and things like that. You could dump a load of kit under there and it won't get wet. This is a good option, especially if you've got like a cooking area or a small fire here, uh, radiating heat into the area in which you're sleeping. Obviously it's a little bit more exposed than the other way uh, prior because, you know, rain can come in from this direction and this side direction. But if it's not going to rain and you've got a campfire, this is a pretty nice way to go as well. And this is the last option I would commonly look at. So here we've got all four corners raised off the ground. We've got the two basher poles bringing it a couple of feet off the ground here. And we're attached onto the fence there, probably bringing about three feet off the ground. There's no limit to how high you can make this. Obviously you could have this tied off between trees. You could have this seven, eight foot uh, up in the air so you can easily walk underneath it. Um, obviously I'd just be a bit wary about rain collecting in the center and bringing the whole thing down. If it's a proper, a British Army basher, they actually have a loop in the middle that then you can attach up to a high branch, obviously pitching, pitching the roof, pitching, pitching the top of the tarp so water just runs off it as it sits at the moment. Heavy rain, that'll just fill up with water and eventually collapse in on itself. But if it's just something like sun protection, uh, that's going to work pretty well. So if you're just putting a shelter up, not so much for rain, but for protecting yourself from sun, uh, that'll work pretty well again. So again, many options available with the poncho system. So then it all packs down like this. We've got the six pegs 
This is actually a cut up uh, shower gel bottle. So all the pegs sit inside there. That way the sharp ends of the pegs aren't gonna pierce the poncho in any place. Poncho and two basher poles, that's it. So that's the basics of the British Army basher. All you need is, in addition to what I've shown you here is just a roll mat, like just a foam roll mat or an air inflatable one. And then a, a bivy bag to slide your sleeping bag in because as we've seen, driving rain can sneak in through the front, through the sides. So you just want that to keep your sleeping bag dry. Uh, in addition to being a good shelter, either from the sun, snow, rain, um, the British, not so much this tarpaulin I've got, because uh, it's not as good quality as the actual British Army issue one. But if you actually have got a proper issue one, there's carry handles on the side, so it can be used as an improvised stretcher. You know, if you need to, if you're on a mountain and someone falls over, breaks their leg, and you need to get them off, you can do that. Uh, slide them onto the tarp, uh, lift it up, use it as a stretcher. Uh, you can use it for collecting rainwater. So it has quite a lot of advantages over, uh, just say, a normal tent. Use it for a stretcher, just lay a tarpaulin out, collect rainwater. It's got quite a few advantages. Uh, it is really light and it is really cheap. So I think it's a good system. I think it is really overlooked in like the wild camping, you know, just people going out exploring world. I mean, you can pretty much have that in your backpack and, and just not even know it's there. Yeah, it's not like, you know, a big bulky tent where you think, bloody hell, do I really need to take this? It takes up no space, it's cheap. It's a good system in my opinion. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Uh, what's your thoughts and opinion on the poncho, on the basher system? Have you used it? Do you like it? Uh, and I'll see you in a future video.